Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing another general covering a week's worth of energy. I think we've got at least one more sign to hopefully get today, okay? So take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? The guidance at the end may be helpful regardless if it's your story. If it sounds familiar to your path, the guidance may be helpful at the end anyway. Stay tuned. I've noticed everyone usually gets a turn when they most need it, okay? If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a message. And welcome back to everybody. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your comments. Be sure to check the community board. I do add new stuff there all the time, okay? So let's just get into it. See what Spirit has for the collective today. If I can grab our dice for Sun, Moon, Rising. Spirit, what guidance do you have for general collective at this time? For whom it'll resonate for whenever the time is divine. And thank you. All right. We do have double Leo here, so that would be Leo highly aspected. I'll go ahead and re-roll that one. We have Scorpio double, so that's also highly aspected. We'll go ahead and re-roll that. We have Taurus. And we have Libra. All right, let's grab these tea leaves. And get a couple cards from each spirit. Tell us what's going on for Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. What is going on? What's in the energy? All right. Let's get the other halves back. First card out, you have target, a goal-oriented person. You have camel, persevere, and you will overcome problems. So it looks like something's being worked on very well, but you're going to need to be goal-oriented to do it. There may be some unsuccessful plans here with the knot. And unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So some of these problems you may need to use your intuition for, okay? In order for them to be successful. <clears throat> but there may be some things that aren't going to work out, and that's all right. There may be a redirect from the universe towards where you need to go. All right. Let's get one from the Monology. Overall energy, perhaps guidance, something to look out for. Person, place, situation, thing, timing, identifier. One, please, spirit. All right. So what's unsuccessful definitely will be unsuccessful. Nothing will come of this situation void, of course, moon, okay? And that could be one aspect of a bigger thing. It's probably not a big deal, right? There may be some challenge here, but nothing you can't handle. Some of which you're going to have to use for your, your intuition for with this unicorn here. Let's get one from the Zodiac. Let's see what the energy is all about. Chinese Zodiac, you have Year of the Rabbit. That could be this, this year as well. So this may be throughout the whole year, and you've got to start planning your goals for it now, okay? We are in the Year of the Rabbit, so you could also just be dealing, be dealing with people that are born of the Year of the Rabbit. Let me grab that book. All right. Those years are <clears throat> uh, plus or minus increments of 12 years, okay, between this range. Starting at 1951, 1963, 1975, 1987, 1999, 2011, and 2023. Okay? So there may be something unsuccessful about it. It may finish out by the end of the year of the rabbit, too. All right? That's possible as well. Let's get three from the... No, actually, I'm going to go ahead and see what rabbit's about. Because it is in the yang energy. All right. 
elegant, tender, gentle energy, exquisite, nimble, kind-hearted, meticulous, conscientious, accompanied by a dragonfly, the rabbit gently stands on the shoulder of a fairy with an air of elegance and peace. He guards the territory and bears his responsibilities firmly without any timidity and concession. Positive meanings, careful, tactful, tender, peaceful, active, responsible, patient, doing your utmost. Action, gaining real strength by fusing both charm and force. So whatever you are going to have to persevere through, you're just going to have to stay goal-oriented on it, okay? And be patient with it. This may be a project that just requires that. It may require waiting for things to grow, right? <clears throat> In terms of gardening, for example, you know, you can't expect to plant your seeds and have them turn into full-fledged plants the next day, right? Some take time in the right environment, and you might have something unsuccessful happen with it. You know, fluke things do happen. So, it could be similar to that. All right, let's get three from the past life oracle. Tell us more, spirit. Just two, all right. Alrighty, alrighty. All right, uh, I can see why it could take some time. You do have monk or nun, right? So it's something you're gonna have to have regular practice, right? Monks and nuns have regular practice every day, right? And it's something having to do with your health as well. Could be just for you know your overall mind, body, spirit health, but it could actually be for your physical health as well. All right, let's grab the Stargazing Oracle. Spirit, tell us more. <clears throat> and clue on what's unsuccessful, possibly. One more, please. Thank you. Two more. Nice. All right, first one out, we have Gibbous Moon. You're close to achieving your goal, final phase before completion. Some tweaking needs to be done. Pay extra attention, details, and focus. Okay. Next one out, you have Scorpio. Transformation, secretive, obsessive, mysterious, intense, manipulative, destructive, jealous, primal, and lustful. And that could just very well be, maybe there's an energy of something that's coming in to kind of complicate things, right? And that's what's going to be unsuccessful. <clears throat> this is pertaining to something in your North Node. So this is for your destiny, right? North Star, life purpose, journey, karmic destiny, learning period, path, the challenge, fulfillment, and fruition. And it could very well be that whatever's unsuccessful is supposed to teach you something. So roll with this, right? <clears throat> you have Venus. This could be in the realm of not just health, but love, beauty, romance, art, harmony, relationships, wealth, luxury, style, attraction. could also just need your female energy to get into it and indulgence, right? All right, let's see. Let's pull a couple from Izzy's deck, Spirit. Tell us more about what this is. Okay. No more, please. I get a sense of alertness, and I think your intuition is going to help with this. <clears throat> okay. Something having to do with protecting yourself with regards to what are you need, whatever you need to pay attention to. And the rabbit is a guard, right? Just going to see if I can place it. Yep, there we go. And then old hoopty came out, so maybe there's some dying parts, right? Maybe something's not an aspect of your project or plan that requires something to function is not functioning, and that's what it is. So it might behoove you to kind of check out all the moving parts of everything you're working on right now to make sure you have everything you need, right? Like, make sure all your tools are working, so to speak, right? So if you're working on, like, I know you need a car to get to, to, to work to do something, right? Like you have, you've got a lot of things to do, a lot of errands. 
um, but you've been neglecting your car, it could become an old hoopy. So I'm like looking at it literally, right? But it could very well be your body, right? Like you might be running yourself ragged. So follow your intuition. Know when there's just too much going on or when there's something that's just making things difficult, right? And making it unsuccessful. And it could be something around whatever it is you're working on, okay? Let's get four from the Gypsy Witch Tell Us More Spirit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm getting the sense you'll need to be mindful of your health, okay? First card out is three of wands, number five, the tree, which indicates good health. And then six of wands, something to be victorious over. Number 43, lightning denotes surprise. Hold on. Knight of wands, something about recognition of labor. So it's, it could just very well be overworking yourself, okay? Something to be mindful about. There may be a surprise where you hurt yourself doing something and then you can't do other things and you get behind, right? So take good care of your body at this time. Let us well, let's get some guidance on your goals on how to put the goals together. All right, spirit. What kind of practices, what things to think about at this time? Especially with regards to North Node. Let's get one from the Work Your Light Oracle, please. There you go. All right. Exactly. Deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, be held. So just remind yourself to take rests, okay? Pretty simple. I like that. All right, let's get a couple from the Halloween Oracle. Anything else? What about this situation as a lesson learner for the past? And the guidance for that. All right, okay, okay. Oh, this may be an opportunity. I see. Okay, first one out, you have Barnbrack, Sweetness and Synergy. I look at this card as like kind of blending all your healing techniques together and finding new ways to put things together, right? To have the best outcome. Although Barnbrack is also a divination tool, so, <clears throat> all right. A pea, a cloth, a coin, a ring, and stick. Within a loaf of speckled sweetness. Slice it and eat it, a glimpse of my fate's completeness. Not quite a cake and not quite a bread. Barnbrack is a sweet loaf, larger than a typical bread loaf, baked with flour, sugar, salt, and dried fruits, such as raisins. The making of Barnbrack is an Irish tradition that still stands around Samhain. The person baking the loaf would be sure to set the intention for love, truth, and synergy while, while, preparing, <clears throat> while preparing. Inside the dough, a number of special objects are hidden and baked into the loaf. The objects are used as a kind of random oracle. Each one has a particular meaning, which represents the fate of the person who found it in their slice. The traditional objects include a coin, a pea, a stick, a ring, and a small piece of cloth like muslin. Some other traditions made in more modern times were religious medals. Should your slice of, of brack contain a coin, this would indicate prosperity and good luck. The pea unfortunately meant that no marriage would occur for you that year, yet finding the ring meant a marriage was certain. The stick, to be avoided at all costs, <laughs> indicated disputes and unhappiness, and finding the cloth meant bad luck and little money ahead. This card indicates a curiosity to know what is ahead, but it's important to balance that with the now. After all, we have the tools to change our future should we choose. The sweet synergy of Barnbrack, all the ingredients, including the objects, are more complete and powerful together than they are individually should encourage you to seek your own sweet spot. So finding your way to heal, right? 
and your way to work through things, okay? Your learning path, okay? Use your intuition to make those changes. And this could also literally be just something about where you do some sort of alchemy, right? Whatever this project is that you need to persevere over, you know, the problems and issues could have something to do with something as simple as culinary or baking or whatever, even if that's just an example for it, right? Whatever it may be for you. Next card out is Skull of Light Illumination. I kind of like these abstract readings. We can stay in the dark, exist only in the midnight hours, but shining the torch, the victory is ours. So perseverance, right? As the famous psychotherapist Jung suggested, knowing our own darkness helps us cope with the darknesses of others. Taking the time to know thyself and to seek understanding of our more destructive or shadow natures can lead to huge happiness and less anxiety. You'll be able to avoid a lot of pitfalls if you're just paying attention, right? And shining the light on the dark. <laughs> So staying positive and maintaining your health, right? The idea of being shown away in the most difficult of times and always knowing that we're never alone in the darkness are the keys to this magical element. Light is usually a comforting thing, yet sometimes we do not really want to see the boogeyman under the bed. It is too scary, too big, and we know not how to defeat it. Yet by simply shining the torch upon such darkness, the victory is ours. Know that it's time to open yourself fully to the clarity of bright illumination. Allow yourself to be seen, to see, and to act upon what is shown to you. The time has passed for hiding, for pretending, and for swallowing our discomfort by accepting the status quo when it really doesn't suit us. So really what I'm getting from that is by using your intuition, you'll be able to see all the pitfalls around the corner, right? And you'll be able to kind of work around any issues and recognize when something's going to be unsuccessful before you invest too much into it, right? And you'll be able to take frequent breaks to maintain your health throughout it all as well. All right. Let's get one from the Unshakable Inner Peace, please, Spirit. All right. You have card number 16, which breaks down to a 7. You have the Midas touch. Things are working out in your favor. In what ways are you abundant right now? Spirit's just reminding you to always remain, you know, humble and for, and thankful for things, right? Like just recognize what you have accomplished up until this point as well. So if you're feeling discouraged, right, you can always look back on what you've done, already accomplished. There may be still a lot more to do, but it's always good to take a breath and a break and just step back and look at what you have done, right? Just to kind of remind you how far you've come. And then maybe there's a few things you can realize in that process, how you can persevere through unsuccessful plans. Maybe give yourself a new path, right? <coughs> I always find that too. Sometimes it's good to just stop, smell the flowers, Look at what I've accomplished and go, you know what? I really don't need to go down this other path and do this other thing, right? Like, I have a feeling it's not going to work out anyway because I'm using my intuition, right? And then I don't end up doing it and I do something else and it ends up working out even better. So then the original plan that would have been unsuccessful. So sometimes you can kind of catch yourself before you fall. All right, let's get a couple from the Keepers of the Light Oracle, please, Spirit. This is pretty simple. You're working on some stuff, but it could be stuff that you could overexert your health on, okay? You might have to face some dark stuff, but it's going to turn out for the best. All right, hopefully you heard that. I had to turn. Okay. <laughs> First card out, you have Freya, phases and cycles. There's a beginning within every ending. Illusions are being revealed and released. Love it. You also have Kalima. Facing fear, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So at the same time, you got some stuff going out that you didn't need because you've transcended it, right? Which means you're going to be making room for new stuff. So, but there's still going to be some illumination needed on whatever darkness, okay? 
There's still a little bit of ironing out of the spiritual spiritual path too. But this is for your your karmic destiny, um, whatever that may be. But make sure you take frequent breaks because it may be exhausting. All right. Some things will work and some things won't, and that's all right. Okay. So let's go ahead and read Freya. A phase of your life may be coming to an end, but it's important to acknowledge it's not the end. When one door closes, another opens. And that may be the unsuccessful plans, right? You may have been desperate for a change, but now that it's here, you could feel vulnerable. Know that the mighty goddess Freya will guide you. Illusions are now being revealed so that you can leave behind anything that is false. Step into your peaceful warrior-like energy and welcome the changes you deserve. Tie up all loose ends and take heart. This is an exciting time. And from Kali, this is a time when you are able to look fear in the eye and move away from it. Fear is just energy and energy can be changed. This can be an intense experience because the human self is so conditioned that it may be used to operating with fear present. When the fear is gone, it may feel as though an emptiness is there, but this is a space for love and miracles to enter. You are being filled with the courage of spirit now so that you can move from this phase of your life to the next. Trust the process and call on Kalima to help you release fear and step into a space that's strong, focused, and courageous. All right. So this may actually be triggering, okay, whatever this is health-wise, and that could also be your mental health too. So thus the rest and replenishment is very, very vital during this time, okay? Doing any shadow work processes may be helpful at this time as well as just staying grounded and centered, right? Up your energy cleansing and protection because, yeah, that came out too. All right, final guidance, spirits. Get it from our new deck, Beyond Lemuria. And Izzy Ivy. All right, one more. The stiff deck, I've been working on it. Working on it, it's still pretty hard to work with, so. Oh, let's get it. Almost. I have a feeling a few more of these videos. A few more working on, working with this deck, deck shuffling it a bunch of times. I think it'll be fine. All right. It's starting to loosen up already. I love it. One piece. All right. Grab a book. We have number 47 breaks down to an 11. Stepping through. Let's see if I can see that okay. There we go. Follow your heart, dream big, stepping through something that has been holding you back, the threshold, starting new projects, self-belief, it is all possible, the road less traveled, and trust. Step in and step up to all those dreams or projects you've been putting off. So maybe there's something from the past that you kind of like put on the back burner that you can work on too. And maybe even doing that Midas Touch, ways that you are abundant right now and being grateful for what has been done, you'll rediscover it, right? Now is the time to start, even if it's just one small element of a bigger picture. Although Just Do It has been coined by a commercial brand, it is one of the fundamental mantras. We will always have myriad reasons why today isn't the day, but remember, opportunity dances with those on the dance floor. <laughs> when you start something, talk about it, take consistent steps to actualize it, and you'll see it take on momentum of its own. The right people, places, and opportunities will magnetize, and it will start to come together. Don't be afraid to fail. The success we see around us has come from perseverance. Falling and getting back up again is part of the journey. Focus your energies and commit to seeing your vision become a reality. You are human, so set reasonable expectations and know that when you apply yourself, you can make many amazing things happen. Building a dream can seem overwhelming, but if you break it down and make a plan, you will gracefully find a way through. You might be able to manage more aspects of a project, and it is great to have an incentive to learn more skills, but it doesn't mean you need to do it on your own. Whatever you are aiming to achieve, there are people out there with the tools, skills, and energy you might be missing, right? Like, okay, you're not going to go and fix this car by yourself. You're going to go to a mechanic, right? 
if it's even worth it and maybe too busted, right? <laughs> you might just have to replace the dang thing or find another plan, right? Okay. Whatever you're aiming to achieve, yet there are people out there with the tools, skill, and energy you may be missing. Look at the bigger picture and delegate. A mentor, people on a similar journey, or accountability, accountability buddy can be wonderful supporters and allies. Following your dreams is fulfilling and empowering, but as often as it is, is a path less traveled, you may need to plot your own course and invent a way through. Also consider what kind of lifestyle you would like, and know this may change and evolve as you do. And she included a quote from John Anster, inspired by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. What you can do, or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Love it. The time is now. No more excuses or tomorrows. Whatever you've been putting off, the universe is now pushing you to make it happen. You may feel a little outside your comfort zone, but that is where the magic happens. Take a leap. Combine your intuition with a plan of action. Break it down and trust the puzzle will come together piece by piece through the courageous act of making a start, okay? So if you have to drop something in order to start something else, that's absolutely okay. Don't be afraid. You got this. All right, guys. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.